Hi, my name is Olivia. Oh, sorry. I didn't really matter. <laughs> Hi, my name is Olivia and I'm from Grand Island Senior High and I'll be reading Memories Trace Me. Memories. Memories of the darkest times. Memories of the past. The hardest past. The past that I can't seem to forget. The past that even the street lamps remind me of. Believe it or not, even the white walls with chipped paint or the brown carpets on the concrete floor. Everything reminds me. Reminds me of the jet black darkness the coldness and the hatred. This, this, this is the past that I can't seem to run from. The past that chases me while I try to race it up the stairs that never seem to have a last step. But, while I tr but they're faster than I am because they don't ever stop. Stop running, stop chasing. Even when my legs get too tired and I assume theirs would as well, they still grow faster and faster stronger and stronger. The more I move, speak, breathe, or blink, the stronger they are. But then again, when I stay still, stay silent, and close my eyes, they are still growing stronger. Nothing I do weakens them. I try with therapy and medicine, but nothing slows it down enough for me to stay far enough away from it. Everything I do spirals the tempo, out of control, and to a tornado of pessimism. The activities I loved before only trigger them more, as if they want me to know I will never get my old life back, with the life without their supervision. On my heels where I walk, on my lungs when I breathe, on my eyelashes when I blink, on my larynx when I speak. A reminder that I will never be the same, that I will, for the rest of my life, live with them, everywhere, in and out of my body. Though, I will never stop trying. I will live my life whether or not they're with me. They must be only obstacles that, are, that I must be able to fight. Strong enough to live with. Even when they get louder and stronger, I am still strong enough to resist them. And I will continue to use my strength until there is none left. Until my heels have kept me up for long enough. Until my lungs have given me enough air or my eyelashes have become too tired to speak, and my larynx has surrendered any volume to my voice. However, I don't see that on my schedule anytime soon.